Hey everyone, it is Nicole and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing my monthly highlights, probably one of my favorite videos to film because I love looking back at these videos and seeing what happened in the month and this month was a really good month. I went to Vegas for one of my longest friendships, one of my best friends. Her birthday was this month and so we booked like an impromptu vacation and it was so good and I haven't been to Vegas since 2018 when my other friend had got married so it, you know I probably won't go back to 2030 because Vegas is not something that you can do on a regular but on the first I needed to start packing for Vegas I am always known to be the last one to be ready so I brought in the Zach digital sticker and I wrote that I needed to pack for Vegas and I did and I'm so glad I did because I realized that I needed to go to Target so on the next day my boyfriend was actually leaving to go on a trip with his brothers and so I needed to go and drop some things off to him before he left and I brought in this sticker that I think is from Plan So Cute. And then after that, I had to go to Target because I needed some toiletries for the trip. So I brought in this Target bag that I drew in Procreate and I wrote that I went to Target. And I went to Target and I went to get like little shampoos and body wash and stuff like that. And I ended up walking out with four candles. I don't understand how I'm still I'm trying to understand how and it's been almost a month like I don't know. On the 5th, we went to the beach. So I brought in this lawn shop bag that's from At Art Digital. It is from one of her travel sets. And I wrote that we packed for the beach. And I brought in this paper shire sticker that said we had a beach day. And it was great. It was a good day to go to the beach. I do not like the heat. And when I'm in the heat for too long, I get irritated. Hence the fact on this day, we went to a beach party. And it was extremely sticky. And later on in the day, I wrote that I needed a much needed shower because like I said, when it's too hot, I get irritated. There was no wind. It was no, it was just straight humid and I was miserable. I could not wait to get back to the Airbnb. It was just a mess. On the 7th, I was overwhelmed with a lot of different emotions this day. This, the night, of the beach party I had got into an argument with one of my friends and it was just like a stupid argument but like when I argue with my friends like it really bothers me <laughs> and so I was just overwhelmed with a lot of things on this day on the 8th everything was fine we had talked it out and we had went to um the boardwalk and we went and did some shopping and got some Starbucks because you can't go anywhere without going to Starbucks and then we had went to Target and we had got some ingredients to make some homemade ramen and it was so good especially since it was our last night we kind of just wanted to chill I had a flight back to JFK and I was not going to be traveling back home on that night. So I stayed with my mom and when I got back to my mom's house, I did some Etsy shopping because what else should, do you do when you can't sleep? And you think that I would be tired from like basically traveling all night because we checked out of our Airbnb at like 8 something in the morning and I didn't touch down back to JFK. It's like a little after 10. So but I couldn't sleep. On the 10th, my mama made me <laughs> go to Target. So I marked that with this Target bag from earlier that I wrote. On the 12th, I listened to Spotify. I usually listen to Spotify podcasts when like I'm on my laptop because it just works better. So that is literally what I was doing the whole day. I was I'm going over like budgeting and stuff, but that was boring. And I was like, I don't want to mark that. <laughs> On the 13th, my boyfriend finally got the job offer that he has been wanting and he has been bugging me and stressing me about. <laughs> and later on in that day, I did some lunch prep. So I brought in the stickers that I drew in Procreate and I wrote that I lunch prep. I usually have like always lunch prep, but I haven't done it in so long. So it was like, I'm proud of myself. This is a grown-up thing. On the 14th, I needed to go and drop off a gift or a package to be shipped off to my niece for her graduation. 
So I brought in this paper shatter sticker that says send a snail mail. Really cute. On the 15th, I was back to reality and I had to go and get blood work done. That I... <laughs> I am not a big fan of it, and plus, it was a fasting blood work, and I have to do it again in July, and I'm not looking forward to it. And then on the 16th, I had had a scheduled MRI to be done, and when I tell you, like, that was the worst experience of my life. I haven't had to get an MRI since I was, like, a little girl, and I remember freaking out back then, and me being nearly 30, I still freaked out, but just, like, on a shorter scale. And then... Uh, that night I got into an argument with my boyfriend. It was so stupid that I wrote it down because I was like, this is dumb. Like it's dumb now, but like back then it was like, no, we, we really, we fight and fight. <laughs> On the 17th, I woke up sick and I was afraid that I had COVID because when my mom had COVID, her symptoms took a while to appear. So I was like, I hope I don't have it. So I just literally stayed in bed this whole day. On the 18th, I was like, I'm going to do a pamper night since my daughter was still away with my mom. I'm like, I'm just going to, you know, try to make myself feel better. Maybe, you know, I'm just tired from everything. And then I ordered myself some Panera because my boyfriend was not at my house. My daughter was away. They don't like Panera. I love Panera. So I was like, I'm going to use it as a chance to get me some food, you know, when the people that you don't eat something as a way or they don't like something just when you get it and you don't have to deal with oh no like oh I don't like it like my boyfriend is literally just like my daughter they don't like something they don't like it and they were protested I was like you're not protesting me getting my Panera I'm sorry on the 21st I had a Amazon delivery delivered I ordered my daughter some lunchbox accessories because she will not eat her school lunch I have tried from since she was in pre-k will not do it so i pack her lunch every single day and amazon i get all of her like lunchbox accessories on amazon because they always have like coupons that you can use and i got a great deal on it so i was like why not and then later on in that day i was so stressed out about summer camp and trying to figure out like my work schedule who was gonna pick my daughter up after it was just a lot so I, I wrote down that my brain was going to explode along with this plan. So cute sticker. On the 22nd, I had to drop off more packages to one of my best friends that is pregnant. I needed to drop off some baby stuff to her. So I did that and then I came home and I watched YouTube for the rest of the night. On the 23rd, it was my grandma's birthday. So we had a miniature, like a miniature birthday dinner at one of like these local pizza restaurants that she loves she loves the pasta there so that's why we went there on the 24th I woke up feeling a little sick again so my boyfriend and I came over and we had watched Avengers Endgame he really came over just to bring soup his mama made for me because let's be real I think she loves me more than she loves her own son but let's keep that between me and you and then I brought in the sticker from Ramona and Friends that's on shop that I can't find anymore. And it makes me really sad because I love their stuff to mark that I could not sleep again. And I go through these phases where I'm just like, I can't sleep. And I don't know what is going on and it stresses me out. But I honestly could not just, it couldn't, I could not fall asleep this night. On the 25th, I got up and I went and got some Starbucks with my auntie because she was leaving on vacation. And when my aunt leaves for vacation, she does not know how to come back. So I wanted to go and spend some time with her before she left. And I colored my hair because I wanted to color my hair before I left for Vegas. But I just did not have time. So I did that then. Plus my hair is like black and purple. So it takes a lot of time when like I just didn't have the time before we left for Vegas. On the 26th. I really, I FaceTime with my mama. She's the only person I really FaceTime with. <laughs> On the 27th, I went to Target and Costco's and my wallet thanks me. I should have just gone to Walmart like I originally planned. I probably would have made that price tag cut in half, but I was trying to be grown. I was like, no, let me just go to Target because and Costco, they're right down the street from each other. Instead of going to Walmart and then going to Target, I should have just went there. On the 29th, I went and I tried this bubble tea rest recipe. And 
it was not that good. I think I did something wrong. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> We're done with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the final look. I love how this came out. It's so cheerful and it's so me and this screams of what was happening in June. The beach, the pool, the sand great but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did click on that like button and the subscribe button and in the comment section below let me know what was the highlight of your june i hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys